Make use of the diagram below to answer the questions without the use of a calculator. Okay, so before we even get to these next quest or the questions, um, we need to complete the diagram. So remember, when you get a diagram like this, always make the triangle, this part, go towards the x-axis. Okay, always make it go towards the x-axis. Don't ever let it go towards the y-axis. So if you did this, that would be wrong. Okay, so you're going to go that way. Now, let's forget about that quickly, and let's pretend that this line was not here. Okay, so let me just get rid of this line. Okay, and let's say we just had this random point P. Now look at its X value, that's three. So that means that this distance here is three, and then its Y value is negative four. So that means that this distance is four. So now you could just use Pythagoras to work out what that distance is. But remember that this is a negative four, but when you do Pythagoras, you don't have to use a negative. So you can just say three squared plus four squared, and that would give you 25. Then the square root of 25, is five. So I just did Pythagoras to find this one. This part is always positive, whether we were there, there, or there. It will always be a positive for this part. Okay, now that we have the triangle complete, now we can go and answer the questions. So it says, what is, um, okay, so it says a quarter sin squared of theta. Now I know that that looks scary, but you can actually just write it like this. You can say a quarter sin theta, and whatever that is, squared. So all that we really need to go find now is sin theta. So we can use Sokotoa, or however else you like to do it. Some learners like to use y over r, x over r, oh, um, <laughs> y over x for sin cos and tan. That's also okay, whatever you're comfortable with. But I like this method. So we're gonna go look for sin of theta. So that would be, you can just take it as that little angle there. And so sin is always gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. So what is the opposite? Well, that would be negative four. And then what is the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is always the longest side of the triangle, and that's five. Okay, now I'm just gonna take that and plug it over there. So some learners think, wait, Kev, do we plug it into the theta, or do we plug it into this whole thing? We plug it into the whole thing, because look here, we're saying that sin theta is minus four over five. So this whole thing is minus four over five. So we're just gonna do that. Okay, now, if you take minus four over five and you multiply it by itself, that becomes positive 16 over 25. Now, if you had to go work this out, we should end up with 16 over 100 or however else you wanna do it. You can do the top times top, bottom times bottom. Um, you could cross cancel. You can do a couple of things here, but once this simplifies, it should give us a final answer of four over 25. Okay, this one says, show that this is equal to that. Now, we're allowed, we allowed to use the diagram, so let's go work out, um, remember, when you see sec squared theta uh, minus one, you can just think of it as sec theta squared, okay? So let's, let's go work out that side first. So let's just say we're going to work on the left-hand side so long, so that's this side. Now, remember that sec, let's give you a quick little recap. Sec is one over cos. Cosec, or let's write it out as cosec, is one over sin. And then cot is one over tan. So we need sec. So sec is one over cos. So let's first go find cos. So cos theta is um, adjacent over hypotenuse. And so that's going to be... If you start here, the adjacent would be three, and the hypotenuse is five. So then sec is one over that. So sec theta is gonna be one over three over five, okay? If you type this on the calculator correctly, you should get five over three. If you end up with one over 15, you've just typed it on the calculator incorrectly. And specifically, if you got one over 15, then what you've done is you've written it like that, okay, where the bigger line is there, but you rather want it to be the bigger line there, like that, there's a difference. Okay, so we know that sec theta is five over three, so we can say five over three squared minus one, and so that's gonna give us 25 over nine minus one. Get a common denominator, so that'll be 25 over nine minus nine over nine, and that should give us 16 over nine. Okay, so now that's this side. 
Now we need to go quickly work out this side. So we'll call that the right hand side. So we'll just say RHS. Okay, so, so we just need to go work out tan because remember tan squared theta is the same as tan theta and then you square that. So tan is opposite over adjacent. So tan is opposite over adjacent. So if you start here, then the opposite would be negative four. Well, let's first work it out here. So tan theta would be negative four, and then the adjacent would be three. So we're just gonna put that into a um, bracket and square it. Now, what is minus four over three multiplied by minus four over three? Well, that's just gonna be positive 16 over nine. And so what we can see is that this side and this side is the same. And so we can just say, therefore, sec squared theta minus one is the same as tan squared theta.